Hey, um, welcome. Uh, I'd like to talk about embedding maps in Qt applications. Uh, I am Konstantin Kafer. I work for Mapbox, which is a uh, map company, and we do maps and location services for apps and websites, including Qt apps. So first of all, um, up until now, we've done a lot of raster-based maps. And this is pretty much the traditional way of making maps um, on the internet, um, like you know from uh, Google Maps, um, or even before that, uh, uh, MapQuest maps, if anyone remembers, as well as an app. So for example, if you use um, Adobe Lightroom uh, and you open up the map view, you see that like those uh, load raster tiles from the web. Um, they're pretty good because they have pretty high visual fidelity. Um, but they also have lots of drawbacks. For example, they don't really scale very smoothly um, when you zoom in. They get very pixely, so you have to load new data all the time. Um, and you can't really embed, uh, you can't really change the style sheet of the map, because if you do, you have to like go back to the server and re-render everything on the server. You can also embed that into your C++ application, um, but that'll also make the application quite big, especially if you um, think about mobile. Um, can also not really add any data overlays very easily. So instead, um, what we've been doing is we've been developing a uh, OpenGL-based map renderer that can be embedded into any sort of applications, including Qt applications. And what that simply does is instead of loading raster tiles from the web, it loads vector tiles, which include all of the geo information, like all of the lines, all of the streets, all of the like water bodies, and so on. And you can use a uh, JSON-based styling format directly, on the, it, directly in the app, um, on the device, on your desktop machine that defines what should be rendered. And that means that your application can dynamically change uh, the map and how it looks. Um, you've also got a design tool that um, you can use to do some pre-baked application, and this is, is essentially a Photoshop for cartographers. Um, also supports custom fonts, icons, custom data, and so on, um, and allows you to, to integrate all of that information. Um, And uh, to support Qt, uh, we developed QMapboxGL, which is basically a uh, thin wrapper around the C++-based uh, MapboxGL renderer itself that you can embed into apps, that you can embed into like your mobile apps um, or embedded apps. And um, that also means that you don't have to rely on the platform-specific ways for uh, rendering maps. For example, Apple provides its own map rendering, but for that, uh, you have to opt into the App Store, so you can't really use uh, a lot of those into, into any of the apps if you don't want to go full in on Apple. Um, of course, the um, QMapboxGL uh, wrapper object does all of the signal and slots uh, handling so that you can directly control the map like the location of the map that is being displayed, the style that is being displayed from the rest of the app, and also integrates into the uh, UI, so you can just like set up the signals and slots to, to change everything. Um, all right, and the way this looks finally is like this. This is just a full screen uh, uh, map view, um, but you can of course also, it's just a regular uh, view widget, so you can just embed it in any way uh, you want into your application. And, um, this is where you can get more information. And the last uh, slide is the, the actual Mapbox GL implementation for Qt. And that's it. Thanks. <laughs>